OK, let's check out one of the great new features of ProShow Producer 4. The same sort of thing can also be found in ProShow Gold 4 as well. We're going to click on this slide here. We're going to drag, drop it into slide number 1. Double click it. What's going to happen now is going to open slides, slide styles. Now this is templates, but it's showing us a preview of exactly what's going to happen. You'll notice we've come to this one here, camera flash, and it's telling us there a camera flash with print. So in other words, you get your print as well. There's an exact description. It requires one layer. Best aspect ratio for this is four by three. Let me just click apply. It's just giving us a little bit of warning there. Are we sure? Well, you'll notice the way that the layers palette has now been sort of put in this as well, so we can see exactly what's going to happen. If we click play, there you are. It gives us a larger preview there. There you are. There was the flash. There's the slide come in. Brilliant. Moving backdrop. Again, giving us a preview here. We can always click apply and see it larger by clicking and play there. Works really well with this image. We've got photo border. Clicking on this one. Let's just take a look. Again, we can see exactly what's happening. They're zooming in nicely. It works really well with this image. You'll notice this one is 16 by 9. There's also one at 4 by 3. So don't forget to check out the description here to make sure it's going to work in with the ratio that you're using for your slideshow. Let's just explore some of the others. I'm going to zoom down here. Display of 5, 4 by 3. There's the display just using the stilt. You can see there's some blank ones there. So let's take a look. It requires six layers. What we're going to do is just click cancel. Click in no, because I don't want to save that. Thank you very much. But what we're going to do now is we've got one slide. You can see they're selected. Let's add some more. I'm going to click on this one, that one. There's slide number, what we got there. That'll be slide number four, five. Uh, let's go for six. Right. Press in, still holding down control. Hang on, that's slide number seven. Don't want that one. Click in, drag in, drop in those in. I think I've got them all there. Now let's check. Let's come back to this. There you are, all in position. Let's just click on that one there because we want movement with this now. So we've got one with still, one with movement. Working at lovely there. Let's click apply. Let's take a look. This time we're going to click on the magnifying glass. Let's zoom in and see it full size. Showing us the layer stack down here, it's actually got all the various different movements, the keyframes which are being used, so we can come in, we can edit these keyframes as we're doing so. We can shift the position by using the up and the down arrows there, so we can move this slide up or down. Let's just click play. Let's see how it's going to look. There it is dropping down there. There's the other slides coming through. That looks pretty good. Really like that one. Clicking close. Right, as I say, there's a huge amount here you can experiment with. Try them all out. But what we're going to do for the moment is we're going to click OK to that. That's now applied it. It's shown us there. It's got multiple layers, multiple photos, images in this slide. Let's just click play to this. You can see it's coming through there. Nicely formed background as well. So that's our six slides. Five there, one for the background. Let's double click and take it a stage further. If we double click and come back to this, if we still on the slide tab, slide settings, this will actually allow us now, we can give the, same, the slide, should I say, a note. Let's call it montage. And we're going to put six slides. And let's increase the timing as well from three seconds to six seconds. So it's going to be longer going through. There you can see them all here. Next, we're going to click on the effects tab. So there it is there. You can see there's all the bits and pieces. You can change any of the aspects, the ratios, whatever here as well. But what we're going to do now is we're going to click on this icon, copy motion effects there, and we're going to copy end to next slide all layers. Clicking on this, you will see it flying through here on the end position through the all go as they're copied in. Right, let's click OK to that. Next thing we're going to do is just come to the center slide here, the transition, and put in zero. So now what, what have we got? If we just take a look here, there's our first slide. You'll notice the icon there showing us. If I click on this, it's going to... Go on, please. If I click on this, it's going to bring us back. If we just come to the slide, slide settings, we can see exactly. You can put whatever note you want in there, and you can change it so you know exactly what you've done to this slide. The other thing is we've copied all the different layers. There's our layers there, shown by these icons. So now when we play it, it's going to start off there. It's going to take six seconds longer to go through. There's the other slides going out. 
holding then, sitting in that position there, and you might just want that for a second or two, but it's a great feature that can be used with Pro Show Gold and Producer. Go on, give it a try. It really does work a treat. Until the next time, happy imaging and take care.